Working with Windows Meeting Space. In this lesson, we're going to discuss how to sign in to people near me. This is essential if you're going to get Windows Meeting Space up and running. Then we're going to talk about working with Windows Meeting Space. And finally, we'll discuss some configuration options. OK, so let's get started. So for starters, you may remember NetMeeting. This was an application that allowed you to share local programs or documents with any number of remote users, and it helped you to collaborate together. Well, Windows Meeting Space replaces NetMeeting, and it's an entirely new application based on several new features that are available only in Vista. But there are a few things you need to do in order for it to work properly. One of the things you need to do is configure your firewall settings to work with Windows Meeting Space. Now this can occur automatically during the setup if you allow the wizard to make the changes, otherwise you will have to make them manually. So let's open up our Windows Meeting Space and walk through the setup process. If we click the Start Orb, and if we type in, in the instant search, Windows Meeting Space, you see it comes up up at the top there. We'll select it. It gives us a little dialog box as to what Windows Meeting Space is all about. And then it mentions that to get started, you need to enable file replication and people near me and allow communication through Windows Firewall. So we need to continue, so we'll select this option. You notice the little security shield, so we'll have to provide our permissions. We select Continue. And at first, it asks us to set up people near me. Now, people near me identifies people nearby who are using computers and allows them to send you invitations for programs such as Windows Meeting Space. So it's essential for you to be signed in to people near me. You can do this either through the Windows Meeting Space or directly through the control panel. You can choose Sign Me In automatically when anyone starts, and then here Allow Invitations from Anyone, or you can hit the down arrow, and you can choose Trusted Contacts or No One. So we'll leave it as Anyone, and we'll say OK. And here you see a couple of things. For one thing, you see Windows Meeting Space, and then down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you see that you're logged on to people near me. So what do we want to do first? Well, we could start by starting a new meeting. We'll call it Meeting 1. And we can provide a password. And then select the little green arrow here to create the meeting. And you see that the options here are not too complicated. We can share a program on our desktop. We can add a handout so that others can see that handout or we can invite people here to join in with our meeting. So for starters, let's invite people. And here you see we have one person that's nearby we can invite. If we select that person's name, and then we select Send Invitations, this person will receive an invitation. While we wait for that person to accept the invitation, we can select our own user, and we can change our presence options. So we can choose Available, Busy, Be Right Back, or Away. We can also select Personal Settings, and we can change our People Near Me sign-on settings. Now once we have a meeting in place, we can select Share a Program on our desktop. If we select this option, it asks us if we want other people to see our entire desktop. We say OK, and then it asks us, do we want people to see our desktop, or do we want to browse for a file to open and share? Let's select Desktop and click Share. Now at this point, we can minimize our Windows Meeting Space, and now the things that we're doing on our desktop will show up in the person's Windows Meeting Space that they've joined. If you want to see how your shared session looks on other computers, you can select this option here, and it shows you how it looks. And as you move your mouse, you can see it's moving there in the display screen. You can also stop sharing by selecting this option here. If you want to add a handout, you select this option here, and then it says handouts will be copied to each participant's computer. You say OK, and then you find the handout that you want to add. So for example, we'll choose this one, and now you can see that handout has been added. You recall that we mentioned that you can accept invitations from anyone or only from trusted contacts. If we go into personal settings, you see we can choose this option, trusted contacts, for those that we allow invitations to come from. 
A trusted contact is someone who has sent you their contact information in an email message or given you the information on a disk or another type of removable media. A trusted contact's information always includes a certificate. So if you want to be on someone's trusted contact list, you have to send them your contact information. And you can do this through your Windows contacts by right-clicking your personal contact, clicking copy, and then pasting it into an email message for the other person. Remember, you don't want to convert it into a v-card. You simply want to give them your contact information, which will include a certificate. Another thing you might want to take notice of when you are starting a new meeting, if you click the Start New Meeting option here, notice there are options that you can choose. If we select this, you can choose Allow People Near Me to See This Meeting or Do Not Allow People Near Me to See This Meeting. These are visibility options, so you can choose to make your meetings invisible. If this is the case, then users that are nearby will not be able to see the meeting. They will have to be explicitly invited to join. So that's another neat feature to Windows Meeting Space. If you select Join a Meeting Near Me, you'll be able to see all of the meetings that are available to you that you can join up with. So Windows Meeting Space is a great way for you to collaborate with people that are nearby so you can share information like handouts or your desktop. You can collaborate together and get more work done. So we hope you found that helpful and thanks for viewing.